Hello and welcome everyone to this session where we are going to discuss IV anesthetic agents part 1. My name is Dr. Janvi and today I'm going to teach you the very basic of anesthesia that is IV anesthetics. Now the day you entered into anesthesia you saw that a few drugs are being used again and again like propofol, thiopentone, ketamine. Now you were just given the drugs and told that this is the dosage and you have to titrate the dosage according to the patient according to its effect on the patient but no one takes the time out to explain how exactly these drugs work these drugs will be ruling your life throughout your career you should know the basics of what is the pharmacokinetics of these drugs how do they act and not just for your life but also in your exam they will go down to the very basic drug and ask you chalo every day you give propofol can you tell me about propofol they will hand you the drug and ask you to say 10 lines about propofol so for everything you cannot say on the basis of your experience you also need to have the underlying knowledge behind it and that is what i am going to simplify for you in today's lecture and make it useful for you so let's start start off with part 1 part 1 is going to focus on the basic mechanism of action of iv anesthetic agents what is its history what is the first drug that came into play and we will follow it with thiopentone and we'll describe everything about it now what exactly are iv anesthetic agents so imagine you're walking inside the ot in the morning and already you're very sleepy and suddenly you're a uh, teacher or your guide comes in while you induce anesthesia and they ask you a very simple question tell me what are iv anesthetic agents and you will be stumped you will start saying ma'am propofol ketamine she'll say no what are these drugs okay so iv anesthetic agents are drugs that are given intravenously to produce a target action and what is that target action the target action is to make the patient unconscious so what will be our target site of action in this case it will be the brain all right so you will tell your teacher in this manner iv anesthetic agents are drugs given intravenously that produce unconsciousness in the patient okay so the next question will be acha so tell me how do iv anesthetic agents exactly act okay so this is how you will explain it to them you will say yes ma'am first we give the iv anesthetic agents into the blood now we put an iv line so this is going into the venous blood as we all know the venous return goes back to the heart through the svc and through the ivc so all this venous return is going back to the heart and my drug is also carried with this venous return into the right side of the heart now from the right side of the heart this drug will then be carried to the lungs and from the lungs from the pulmonary blood vessels that are there in the lungs this drug will again come back to the left side of the heart and this is where the important story starts now from the left side of the heart i have the major blood vessel going out that is the aorta and this aorta will carry the blood along with my drug that i have given to my patient okay now first this drug will go to the organs that receive a high amount of circulation so which are those organs so my brain liver kidney these are the options which these are the organs that are vessel rich okay they are vessel rich means they receive a rich blood supply to them So now I am getting this blood going to the brain, liver, and kidney. Out of this, as I told you in the beginning, my target site of action for these drugs is the brain. My target site of action is the brain. Now, where exactly in the brain that we will see ahead, and how these IV anesthetic agents act. Once these IV anesthetic agents reach the brain, they produce my target action, that is the unconsciousness. Unconsciousness. okay you will give this answer your teacher will be very impressed but they will say you have studied only half of the story what happens to the iv anesthetic agents once the target action on the brain is already done then these iv anesthetic agents get redistributed they get redistributed 
to the different parts of the body now which are these different parts of the body so i told you there are some organs which receive a high blood supply but there are also some organs which receive less blood supply like muscle skin fat so now my iv anesthetic agents get redistributed from the highly perfused areas like the brain to the less perfused areas like the skin and the fat and when these drugs leave the brain and they go to the skin and fat this is when my patient awakens from the iv anesthetic agents why because the drug has left the brain it has left the target site and it has now gone to the periphery all right eventually this drug is metabolized after some time and after metabolism it undergoes elimination in the body now we are going to be discussing each and every drug where do they get metabolized where do they get eliminated how do they get redistributed what are the important properties but these are the basics of iv anesthetic agents that you should know okay now here there is one very anesthesia related question that comes and your teacher will ask you what is one arm brain circulation time okay so as you know you gave the drug in the iv okay so we gave the drug here in the venous blood and from it, there it has gone to the heart and from there it has reached the brain so the time that is taken for the drug to reach the brain from the hand okay this time is called as one arm brain circulation time okay so the time from giving the drug iv till the drug reaches the brain and produces its effect that is unconsciousness that is called as one arm brain circulation time so the next thing they will ask you is okay you are doing very well now tell me how much is the typical one arm brain circulation time so typically one arm brain circulation time is very less from the time you give your drug iv till the time it acts on the brain it takes not more than 20 to 30 seconds and this is the time that is required to produce unconsciousness in the patient once you inject the drug into the blood vessel all right so you should know this concept of one arm brain circulation time and there is one more question that comes over here which iv induction agent gives the least gives the least one arm brain circulation time so propofol is the iv induction agent that gives the least one arm brain circulation time and that is why it is the quickest to act okay you give propofol and your patient will become unconscious in literally 15 to 20 seconds so that is the importance of one arm brain circulation time now coming to the history of iv anesthetic agents so